Well, hi folks, I was just messing around this afternoon, just trying different techniques, and I just sort of stumbled across this little idea by making a split rimmed bowl and putting this little scallop sort of beaded rim in it. I wish I'd have filled it because I tried it again and it didn't work. So I've been trying all sorts of different things. But I'm going to try and do another one of these, like a split rim, show you how to do it, and put this little beaded effect in because it gives a rather rather nice effect on the bowl. So we'll get on and give it a go. So we'll give it a go and see if I can make one again. So I'm just going to try and throw the bowl first. It's a different angle to the camera because most of the techniques sort of from above. So we'll have a look. What I need to remember is to throw a really thick, thick rim though, that's the most important thing, so I can split it. I want to keep it dead thick at the top. Best clay again, it's quite lumpy, so it's a bit off centre, which isn't going to be ideal because I want to get it perfectly centred when I split it. basic bowl as you can see, would have been better to get it perfectly centred but the clay's a bit wonky. So I'll just tidy it up first before I slow it right down. And I'm just going to use a knife and try and split the rim into two. Brush, which is slightly pointed just to try and make a bit of a groove in the middle just to widen it out. So that sort of split the rim into two. Just sponge it off a tad just to get it a bit more even. So if I show you the rim now before that you can see it's it's split into two. There's a little bit of a rim in it, a ridge in it. So what I'll do now with the paintbrush, I tried it again and it didn't work, so we'll try it again. Again, it's just to make some little indentations so it looks like a bit of a bead. I'm not going to do any pulling or anything. I'm just going to do that and twist, keeping it nice and moist so it doesn't stick. And we do seem to be getting the desired effect this time it's because last time I tried it. I didn't make the rim, the, uh, the rim thick enough. So I'll just show you what it looks like as we go along. There you go, that's the sort of effect you get. Oh, clumsy that, wasn't it? Now if it goes a little bit off centre, I've just touched that with my brush. So if it, if it goes a little bit sort of misshapen while you're doing this on the rim, you can put it back on the wheel slowly and then turn it round and it, you should be able to straighten it out. So there's quite a few of these to do. So I'll put it in speeded up mode because it'll probably take about three or four minutes. We'll do them all and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished from above. to 
the last three or four now. It's only taking about a minute and a bit. I'll just do it so they match up, which is like that. Just spin it round, see what it looks like. I'll just turn it on, see if it does look level. If it's not, you can just slowly straighten it up like that. And that should do. I'm pleased with that one, that's come out really well. In fact, I'll take the camera off and show you it from above. Should give you a better view. Just drop everything. So that's what it looks like from above. A bit of close-up design, as you can see. It's just a just little dimples all the way around with a paintbrush, and the rim's just been split. So it's dead easy to do, as you could see. There was nothing technical to do, but the effect is, I think, it's brilliant actually. So give it a go, folks. It's a really nice. Little design to put on the edge of a bowl.